hello New hello Newcastle fans here welcome to the preview I'm outside uh, St James Park bitly bitly cold night apologize if there's any bad lightning uh, lightning around us so we're here to talk about um the Wigan because obviously Wigan are struggling in the league at the moment we're going to have a look at the Wigan I'm also going to do a, a, some of it in match to match comparison of where we stand and statistics and so on so what we'll do as per usual with uh, the first preview is we're going to look at Wigan's recent form which we'll put on the screen now for you so looking at their recent form uh, they've got a 1-0 away defeat to uh, Aston Villa which is on the weekend they suffered a 1-0 defeat against Derby Huddersfield actually won 2-1 away uh, which is a great result for them drew with Barnsley 0-0 Got hammered off uh, Red and 3 0 at home, which wasn't a great result. Like seven goals conceded, which isn't too bad, you know, for a team that's at the bottom. Their top scorer, which is Will Grigg, on six goals, has been on the bench. Uh, I don't know. I, I was looking at uh, looking at a couple of statistics, and I looked back four games. So the last four games, he's been on the bench in every single one, which makes you wonder if, if a guy on six goals, why is he on the bench? I'm sure there's going to be the Will Griggs on fire and Meat Rose on fire chant all the way through for all the way throughout the stadium and outside and inside the ground which will be fantastic atmosphere so can't wait to see all the Geordies down there I'm looking for some great fan footage so if you've got any fan footage or you're going to the Wigan game let me know their top scorer is Will Griggs as I mentioned on 6 Dwight Gale's hours on 16 Dwight Gale has scored the same amount of goals as Wigan have all season tells its own story why Wigan are struggling at the bottom of the league as well uh, let's have a look at um, the predicted lineups which we'll put on the screen for you. So this is the lineup that they went for last game. It was UC Askeline in the goal. They went with Burke at right back. Morgan is centre back with Burks with Buxton. Former Liverpool left back Neil Warnock at left uh, mid left back. Right wing was Garbett. In the middle was Max Power, great name. Perkins also alongside him with McDonald sitting. And then Jacobs on the left to midfield and Welshat, who's played the last few games up front on the zone. So Wigan play a formation of four, then they have one sitting, then four in midfield, and then one up top. They've got a new manager in charge recently, which is Warren Joyce, who recently come from their Manchester United under 21s because Nicky Butts now taking over there. So he's come from there, and to be honest, results haven't massively improved since he's coming in. I think Wigan are kind of doomed. I know I'm being a little bit disrespectful, but I think they need some bodies in January, some new transfers, because they are struggling at the bottom. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're only a couple of points off, as you see there in the table. They're only a couple of points off the relegation. So it's all to play for. Maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh on Wigan. But Newcastle going to that game, you would expect Newcastle to turn up and dominate and run out one or two uh, nil winners, personally. I don't, I can't, Wigan, I, I can't say much uh, chance for them. Just looking at a couple of stats from Wigan and Newcastle. Wigan haven't got anybody sent off this season. Newcastle have obviously had the three. Two of those were rescinded, of course, by that joke referee, Steve Martin. They actually averaged 51% possession, which surprised me a little bit, whereas Newcastle are 54%. So, quite similar in terms of stats. Now, he has a couple of uh, good stats for you. They average roughly just over 12 shots per game, whereas Newcastle is 14 and a half. Now, you might not think two and a half shots is much, average per game you top that over 16 games that's quite a lot of shots more than we've had in Wigan again striking the knee goals Will Grigg their top scorers on the bench Wigan fans why is that conceded they concede almost 13 and a half shots per game whereas Newcastle only concede just over 10 shots per game so again there's something that they need to look into the stats as well the style that Wigan uh, actually played they both they both use both flanks but they predominantly like to use the left a lot more than what the right do they'll also shoot on sight as well they won't hesitate they'll shoot from distance uh, they won't play it long they won't do the long ball which Birmingham were doing on Saturday they'll play it nice and short they won't go long ball which is I suppose some people like to play football on the ground some people like to play a long ball it's just down to preference I guess and also they're very very aggressive in the style of play they won't let they'll get in your faces as well so interesting style of play that Wigan are uh, coming up there as well. The weaknesses, which is pretty easy, as I've already touched on, the finishing is pretty poor at the moment. You know, they're struggling down at the bottom. They're not very great in the years either. So maybe Meat Row might get a chance in this because maybe if Rafa might spot this, that they're not great in the year. But I can't say do I kill being dropped in all honesty as well. And they're also prone to make a lot of individual mistakes as well. So it goes to show you that stats, yes, some some stats do lie, but these stats don't in my eyes I think Newcastle will go at this game now that we've got a comprehensive 4-0 win we'll go at this game it is a bit of a banana skin but I'm very very um, what is the word I'm looking for optimistic um, confident that we'll go there keep a clean sheet and score one or two goals as well we'll get the whiteboard video out um, later on it'll either be on Tuesday night or first thing Wednesday morning as well let me know what you think uh, what do you think about um, uh, about the game Mitro's on fire! Your defence is terrified! See you later.